Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new exciting video of the Charm Hub. So in this video, I would be talking to you about the only makeup products that you actually need, more like a beginner's makeup kit to have that put together yourself look. So I have put together a makeup a kit that consists of the only products that you actually need. These are few of my suggestions and opinions to help you guys build your own makeup card. So firstly speaking, to have that complete and uh, flawless makeup, you need to know what products you really need. Now, how to wear those products, when and what comes after what, that is in the step-by-step -step makeup routine. So if you know this, yes, you can go for a good makeup routine. Well, we know that uh, there are so many products in the market. Uh, there are different forms of products uh, that actually confuse us as to, okay, do we really need it or not? What are those products and so on. But basically speaking, you just need few of the basic uh, makeup products to have that complete makeup look even if you are a beginner to makeup or even if you are a, a well-known person to the world of makeup so I've put together these basic makeup products that you only need and also I've al already created a demo of the makeup routine uh, that is step-by-step -step routine of this look so yes let's quickly get ahead into the video I have divided the full makeup routine into five major steps prepping the skin, base makeup, eye makeup, sculpting the face and lips. Now let's move on to the first step which is prepping of skin. Before starting off with any makeup routine, it's really important to prep your skin well. You can use your skincare routine before a makeup or as of me i'm using here just the basic products so i'm going to use here only the three basic products that you actually need to prep your skin which is a moisturizer a sunscreen and a lip care first step is to moisturize your skin i'm using here the pons light moisturizer and i really like this moisturizer mainly because it gives me a soft glowing skin rather than a greasy look which i achieve yes when i had used the pons rich hydrating cream so applying a good moisturizer also helps to create a good base for a flawless look and helps retain the moisture of your skin so always apply a good moisturizer before starting off with any makeup routine. Second step is to apply a sunscreen. The one I'm using is the Mama Earth's Ultra Light Indian Sunscreen. Again, it has been my favorite so far. It has an SPF of 50 PA++. Now applying products in the correct order is very important. As I mentioned, uh, always apply a sunscreen after a moisturizer and never before a moisturizer as few of people do the same mistake. So first apply a moisturizer and then a sunscreen. Now I really do love this sunscreen mainly because it has deep nourishing formula and it also helps to moisturize my skin and also do not leave a white cast. Now if you're wearing the makeup during the day, do not miss out a sunscreen. You have to wear a sunscreen during the day. If it is at night, then you can skip this step. The third step is lip care. Now I'm using here the Good Night Coconut Lip Sleeping Mask from Rude Cosmetics. Now I really do love the formulation as it's a blend of wonderful oils that helps keep my lip moisturized and hydrated and also smooth. Now whenever you use a lipstick, always make sure you moisturize your lips well before and keep in mind to use a transparent or non-tinted formula so that it does not interfere with the color of your lipstick. Let's move on to the second major step which is the base makeup. So for the base makeup, I'm going to use a primer, a corrector, a foundation, a concealer and a compact powder. So let's move on to the first step under the base makeup which is a primer. The one I'm using is from Insight. It's the Insight's 3-in-1 Primer and do love the formulation as it has an oil-free gel formulation and does the job quite well. Now why use a primer? A primer helps to give that flawless base. It also helps to create a smooth canvas by filling in the pores and also uh, help the makeup last much longer. 
So this also prevents the excessive shine and greasiness that you have on your face as well. So always use a primer before starting your base makeup to have that flawless finish. The next I'm going to use is a corrector. The one I'm using is again from Insight. Now this is a palette that contains a corrector, a concealer and a contour. So for this step I'm going to use the corrector which is in the orange shade. Now a corrector comes in use if you have intense dark circles and dark spots. It's not a necessity but it actually helps to neutralize the darkness or redness before you use a concealer. So it comes in different shades like green, yellow, purple and orange but I always prefer to use the orange uh, corrector. As I mentioned, it is not a necessity but it actually helps to make your makeup look much better when you use a concealer. So for the next step, I'm going to use a foundation. So for foundation, I'm using Maybelline's Fit Me Foundation in the shade 220 Natural Beige. So this foundation does not feel heavy on me and has a lightweight formulation which I prefer. Matching your perfect shade in a foundation is very important to have that perfect makeup look. Now the Maybelline's Fit Me foundation has 16 shades so find your perfect match and then get a foundation. So I'm using a makeup sponge to apply my foundation. You can even use your fingers or a foundation brush. Now a foundation helps to create an even uniform complexion and you can also build up for more coverage. As of me, I'm just applying one layer and I'm happy with it. The next comes the concealer. So for concealer, I'm going to use uh, the one from the same inside palette and this is the shade I would be using for my concealer. Now this is a cream formulation and have to be blended well for flawless finish. Now concealer has a thicker formulation than a foundation and it should be applied only to those dark spots, dark circles, pigmentation and those imperfections on the skin. Do not use too much, a less is more than enough and does a good job. Blend it well and that's the key secret to a flawless makeup look. Blending is key. So as I mentioned, I've applied a corrector before a foundation. So when I apply this concealer, it gives me a better look by because uh, the corrector has neutralized uh, the color. So if you want, you can skip the corrector, but if not, yes, you can go ahead with it for a flawless look. So for the final step under the base makeup, I'm going to use a compact. Now, once the concealer is applied to hold everything in place, use a compact or a loose powder. So the one I'm using is the translucent powder from Laura Mercier. The powder is very fine and blends effortlessly and does not feel heavy at all. Now a suggestion from India would be from Swiss Beauty Loose Finishing Powder. So the one I have is a banana powder in the shade 02. It has different shades as per your preference. Now why apply a powder? It should be applied especially where you have used a concealer especially under the eyes so that the concealer does not settle in the fine lines and it also helps to get rid of that excess oil and sweat on your face as well. Uh, so that's uh, for the second major step which is with the base makeup. So let's move on to the next major step which is the eye makeup. So for eye makeup, I'm going to use a waterline cordial, an eyeshadow, eyeliner, mascara and eyebrow pencil. So let's move on to the first step under the eye makeup which is a waterline cordial. The one I'm using currently is from Basanti and I love cordials and I'm a cordial person and if you're going to give me just one product out of makeup then I would choose only cordial. I'm also a person who looks into something that lasts longer which is intense black and doesn't smudge that easily. Now all have been asking me about the cordial that I use back in India and even over here in Canada as well and I would say the one that I really love and have been using for ages ever since I had my hands on those were from India which is the L18 Kajal. I really love this and I have never changed ever since as this was all I wanted in a Kajal. But unfortunately 
yes moving here to canada yes i had to find an alternative that matches the same and it's quite difficult to find uh yes an intense black kajal over here in canada that lasts long and doesn't smudge that easily but somehow yes i managed to find one which was something similar uh, which is from basanti but it is way expensive so if i want to get something back from india then it would be a bunch of kajals itself now why apply a kajal a kajal actually helps uh yes uh, to give that fuller look for your eyes and always apply a kajal in the lower and the upper water lines to uh, make it more attractive and give that fuller look for your eyes so for the next step i'm going to use the eye shadow so for the eye shadow i'm using uh is from spes beauty it's the ultimate shadow palette in the shade 01 Now it has all these nude and uh, bright colors since I'm mostly into nude I chose this palette that contains most nudes so about this eye shadow yes it's highly pigmented and for beginners yes would definitely recommend this because it's all that a basic eye shadow colors that you actually need So to give in some shine to the eyes I'm using uh, the Laura Mercier's eye shadow it's easy to apply it's richly pigmented and gives the exact shine that I want on my eyes that's subtle and great for the day and night look Now eye shadows actually help to draw attention to the eyes making them stand out and look more attractive by giving that pop color to your eyes So next is an eyeliner and for eyeliner I'm going to use my favorite traditional Lakme's Insta liner. It is highly pigmented, uh thin strokes can be achieved easily. Now, uh wearing an eyeliner helps draw attention to the eye and enhances the shape of the eye according to the way that you wear it. Now the consistency of this formulation is good for the application and it's a decent regular eyeliner which is affordable and a good one for a beginner and does the job perfectly. So for the next step I'm going to use a mascara. So I'll be using the Maybelline's Hyper Curl Waterproof Mascara in the shade Very Black. It has been my favorite mascara so far. So one thing I like about this one is the wand It does the job for curling and also does not apply or catch too much of product that would make the eyelashes look clumpy. So it mostly uh, takes the perfect amount that you want and stays longer as well. A mascara actually helps to enhance the upper and lower eyelashes giving it a fuller voluminous look and it also helps to darken, thicken and lengthen your eyelashes as well. So the one from Maybelline has been my favorite so far and it is again beginner friendly. So for the final step in the eye makeup look I'm going to use an eyebrow pencil. The one I'm using again is from Maybelline. It's the Maybelline Express Brow Ultra Slim Pencil and this has been my favorite eyebrow pencil so far. So it's in the color 262 Black Brown which suits me the best. Uh it's ultra slim, gives perfect precision, a good formula and also comes with a spoolie brush. Now always remember when you're getting an eyebrow pencil to buy one which has a spoolie brush. because it comes a lot more in handy now it makes the eyebrows look good and natural and eyebrow pencil actually helps uh, to define and accentuate the eyebrows it also helps to give that shape to the eyebrows and fill in the gaps to have a fuller and bolder look now the spoolie helps to brush through the eyebrow giving it a more natural look so as mentioned always get one with a spoolie so getting the right eyebrow pencil and the right shade yes is cute So that's the final step in the eye makeup look. So let's move on to the next step which is sculpting the face. So in this step I'm going to give some structure to the face and for that I'm going to use three products. So as of me I'm using only one product that contains all the three in it and it's the Golden Rose Metals Sculpting Palette that contains a contour, a highlighter and a blush. Now an alternative that I can suggest for this palette uh, back in India would be from Sugar. It's the Sugar Contour Defose Face Palette which again contains the contour, a highlighter and a blush. So it's a similar one to that of the Golden Rose. Now let's move on to the first step which is contour. So for contour I'm going to use uh, this one from the palette. So it's applied below the cheekbones, uh sides of the nose bridge and around the borders of the face to give the face definitions. Now it also helps in sculpting and giving more definition to the face. 
now a contour shade comes in a darker shade than your complexion and yes the one i'm using again is from the golden rose the contour shade from the palette so the highlighter is applied next and for highlighter i'm using the highlighter from the golden rose palette and it is applied to the cheekbones center of the forehead over and under the brow bones now i like this a uh, step and this is my favorite step in sculpting the face because i kind of like a dewy makeup look and applying a highlighter gives that kind of look it actually helps to attract light enhance the skin tone gives healthy look and also helps to lift the bone structure so for the final step, I'm going to go for a blush and for blush, I'm going to use the blush from the Golden Rose palette. Now apply a blush on the apples of the cheeks and I do love especially this one uh, from the Golden Rose because it actually has a slight uh, shine to the blush. Now a blush comes in various pinks and gives a flush of color to the cheeks. Now this also helps sculpting your face and helps lift your cheekbones as well. So that's the final step for uh, the sculpting the face. Now let's move on to the final step which are the lips. Now one should definitely have at least two lipstick. One is a dark shade and the other one is a nude shade. Well, I'm mostly a nude person and leans towards the nude lipstick as it never goes wrong, which I love the most. Now, my suggestion for a nude lipstick is from Bonjour Paris in the color Rouge Velvet 13, which is my all-time favorite nude lipstick. Now, I love the formulation as it's a matte lipstick, but it's so buttery soft that it does not dry out the lips. And the best part I love about this is that it lasts quite long and is transfer proof. Now it has hydrating waxes with oils that gives this velvety soft finish. Now this is something that you should have if you're into nude lipstick and if you have any chance to have your hands on these Bonjour Paris lipstick, now that would be the best suggestion for you. So that's the last step and this is my complete makeup routine. So I've just created this with simple makeup and basic makeup products. The only makeup products that you actually need, which is also beginner friendly. So do try out this routine. So I hope that video was exciting, interesting and helpful for you guys. If you do like it, then do not forget to hit the like button. And also if you do like my contents, then do subscribe to my channel just hit on the subscribe icon that pops over here and also do not forget to hit the notification bell so that you would get notified every time i put up a new video so see you soon in my next exciting video until then bye bye take care